I'm up here on this roof. I've been doing a maintenance. I have a couple of rooftops I've been working on. And this one over here doesn't appear to be working. When I walk up to it, I mean, he told me one of them was down. Cold air is coming out of it. So I don't have heat coming out of the machine. So let's find out what's going on with it. I mean, it could be anything. It could be igniter, could be the flame sensor, pressure switch. It's very hard to tell at this point. Let's see what's going on. Whoop. I see a little chair here. I'm gonna rest you guys on it while I open this up. Probably see through that window, but I don't feel like laying on these leaves. So, move you a little closer so when it's open. So it's right now retrying. No. That's the easy one. <laughs> That's always the easy one to find out when there's a problem. So let's see if I put you guys right here. You're still seeing what I'm doing. If I check this pressure switch, what do I got up here at the switch? Zero. So my pressure switch is not at fault. Twenty-six. Okay, so I got twenty-six volts there. This is gonna be zero, should be. Okay, so I got 26 there. We're retrying on this unit. So, and I'm definitely testing zero up in my switch, right? Yep, zero up in my switch. Hmm. Let's power down and up. Oh my goodness, it's so far away. Let's see what happens. system chance let's reboot it and see what it is because power is going to the board it's just not going past it so we got to see why it comes in and it's not going could be going to the gas valve it may not be hard to tell we'll verify that I have no idea what it's doing yet so So, main valve would be the top. Off here. I didn't check to see if that's interrupting. Maybe it won't reset, but it's interrupting. So, let's go to the ground. Gray wire coming in here, ground, bottom, let's just come over here, the clip on, boom. Okay, now let's bring the heat back on, because it is needed inside. So we're going. Nothing happening so far. 
Right now the light on solid, it's hard to see from here, but it is on solid, my uh, thing's in the way, I need it. Let's just see. I don't think that it's getting to that point here. So, okay, my main valve, no. My main valve is the only thing that's gonna come on, so. 26, back, 26. So it's going through my pressure switch. 26 in, 26 out, all right. Zero, I think I have a bad board. So it looks like it's not putting power off. So, flame sense or not, flame sense doesn't matter. I need power to come off there or else I'm not gonna be turning my valve on. So yeah, it looks like a bad board. I have power through everything off of here. This is, let's see, this one's going up and it's feeding. Yeah, LED, power. This is power in. So I got power in. I'm just not going any further with this. So, bang, 26. So the board wants to come on, but it's not. Now my light, yeah, it's doing the blink thing again, so. And I never had power to come off it. And I could monitor here real fast, make sure. But I'm not seeing any action here, so. I'm gonna have to grab a board out of my truck, a module, see if I have one, and then take it from there. Here is something that I noticed, and I thought I was hearing it, spark every 30 seconds it'll try I wonder if you guys saw it but it is sparking it's just not going any further so let's swap this thing out real fast got a new one it's a little different but it does the same thing to get this out, I need a quarter inch zippy. Let's see. Nut driver. Yeah, I'm sitting on the job. I'm on the I'm on the bench next to you guys. What can I say? How it should be. I should always be able to sit. connect it let's put the new one in love it all these extra terminals are down here so this won't really fit this way so I'll put it like this and it won't really fit that way you'll suck I don't know can I get the wires over there when things are redesigned let's fasten them right here before I fasten them down though let me get the wires on while I can still see because if I go this way with them I don't know if the wires would reach 
Oh, they should. I don't have any books, but usually they want them installed a certain way. So it's, I'm going to put it with the terminals down. Okay, so common is ground, so I'm going to connect common. But what I'm going to do now is this is my valve, right? Valve, so main valve over here. Now I need W1. Let's see, W1 is this guy, right? He's going down to the safety. Yep, that's W1. That's my... This guy is power. Flame rod. Flame sense. Okay. And there should be nothing left. It's only four wires, I believe, on the other one. But I gotta from go to ground, I'm thinking, from here. We'll see. But I'm also thinking is that let me get him started I, I want a second screw in this thing i don't like it with just one so i'm gonna start it like this then i'm gonna tap another one up top but i really don't have space to go that way so i'm gonna have to tap something or do something here because let's see maybe this guy will just go right through it let's Swap over the drill. Maybe I could just zip this screw straight through it. I'd go the other side too, but. Okay, now no more with that. Don't need to crush that at all. No crushing. Boom. See, all my grounds are here, but I'm used to my board usually. Something on the board usually tying straight into ground. But then again, the screw holes most likely also connect the ground. So let's plug it in here. Can't see because my lazy my lazy self is sitting down. Let me go hit the disconnect and see if I have to run a wire from here maybe to there. So I ground my module. Steady on is good. Control is okay. I connected everything back up. Yep. So now we're just waiting the 30 seconds. And it'll fire right up. There we go. Sparking and we're on. Alright. I'm gonna have to clean the flame sensor. This guy doesn't sound that great either. Hope that goes away. I didn't hear that earlier. I didn't really hear that earlier, so give it a few seconds to run. See what the amps are. Point eight. What are we rated for? You guys see it and I probably can't. 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that's good. See the other wire. Point 0.6. Now we're burning away, so that's all we want. We got oil ports on this beast. He's old, so he could. No oil ports. It's 
So let's kill the call for one second. waiting for it to go off I'm curious what I test on the flame sense here we go let's see what we pick up for flame current curious what we'll have just waiting for the 30 second timeout And we should be a uh, go. Sparking, and we're lit. We're reading about four, five. I'm gonna wipe this thing clean real fast and see what happens. Doesn't look too bad. Evidence of sandpaper in the past, but still catching a good flame signal, so I'm gonna wipe it up. With the new, well, the clean flame sensor, which wasn't even that dirty, but let's see what happens. Hmm, there we go. Took a second or two to get a reading. Well, we're up and going. Looks like it went a little higher, a little quicker this time. Five, seven, five, six. All right, we're pulsing. Could be a bad ground. That looks pretty good right now. I don't mind that little pulsing like that. I don't like like five to seven to five, but that's kind of see that quite often. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, the repair of the faulty ignition module. This guy just wouldn't send power to the gas valve. The little relay inside went bad. Oh well, that's life. Till next time, I'm out.